your name for the coat? Vicky. Vicky. Where are you from, Vicky? Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I see. Mm -hmm. Anything going on in your life at the moment? <laughs> so, let me ask you, Vicky, if that is your <laughs> Are you, uh, are you on uh, vacation celebrating your... Yes, Divorce-a-Palooza. Divorce-a-Palooza? <laughs> please, 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 do not lead the witness. She's in a <laughs> great deal of pain and she's masking it with jollity. <laughs> I'm familiar with the condition. <laughs> Vicky, in the divorce, I imagine there was a financial settlement? Yeah. How did you do? Um, I did pretty well. <laughs> Now, uh, you're Canadian? Yes. Any plans to change that? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, I saw you're in, uh, you're in America. Are you looking for someone, uh, a gentleman friend, to help you celebrate your uh, single life again? Sure. What are you looking for then? Because you're in the wrong town if it's... Uh... <laughs> I mean, if you're here for a douche, perfect. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. No, I didn't mean that. I meant... Oh, God, oh, no. <laughs> I'm we can probably cut that out. Can you cut that out? Oh, okay. Um, look, uh, what I meant is there's a lot of uh, very unpleasant men in L.A. I worry about you, Vicky. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you'd be better in Edmonton, Canada. There's some very nice men. You got the ice road no, truckers. Up. Really no, oh, no, no, <laughs> no. You got the ice road truckers there. Yeah, they'll be gone rednecks. most of the time. Rednecks. No, no, they're not rednecks. Not when the weather's that cold. They're ice necks. <laughs> I was thinking maybe Jeff, you know. I'm afraid you're not really Jeff's type. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's no disrespect. Je Jeff's gay. Yeah. So, you know, it, and it's just a kind of thing. And are you know. things still stuck in customs? What is, no, his genitals? Yeah. His genitals have actually arrived, but they're not for you, Vicky. <laughs> But maybe he could be your friend and show you around and stuff. Sure, sure. As long as you don't go more than 12 foot from an outlet. <laughs> well, I'm very happy before you. Is this, uh, did you come with a bunch of girls and did you girls make yeah. this and everything? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. Let me just say this. I know that we're out of time, but very quickly, I just want to say, I want you to know that uh, I'm not taking any sides in this dispute. Um, you know, <laughs> Vicky and uh, Mr. X, Vicky. Um, <laughs> you know, I just wish you well moving on with your lives. Uh, and remember, the pain does go away, apparently. <laughs> CBS Kids. CBS Kids. We'll be right back. The Lake Lake Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Farmers Insurance. Find a knowledgeable local farmers agent at farmers.com. We are insurance. We are farmers.
I've broken the camera. Everyone, shh. <laughs> Quietly. Luckily, it's this show, so no one on CBS will know that the camera has been broken because they don't watch the <laughs> show. <laughs> it covers the light. Uh, uh, there. Is that better? <laughs> ah, it's good enough for this. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Is it all right? Is I've messed up the fantastic lighting? <laughs> well, it looks like I've got a halo on top of my head. Perhaps that's natural. <laughs> Who's on the show tonight? Is it good Craig or bad Craig? Bad Craig. <laughs> bad Craig. Jeff won. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. It's, it's a, but a bad day, though. A bad day for Al Pacino. Apparently, he owes the IRS uh, $188,000 in back taxes. When he was reached for comment, Pacino said, Ooh-ha! I, uh... <laughs> I've forgotten my W-2-ha! <laughs> Will you take an I-O-U-ha? <laughs> I liked it better when we were playing with the light. Didn't you let... Yeah, I saw this headline, right, in a Scottish newspaper today. That's right, Leno, you're not the only one that reads the newspapers, and I get mine from Scotland, where, where the news is only two centuries old and bleak and damp, and all the newspapers are in black and white, just like the rainbows. I look forward to increased hate mail. See this Scottish headline, though, it's from a paper, look, the Courier in Scotland. What does it say? Scotland denies concealing beavers. say this once because the CBS, CBS uh, censor is, you know, is actually here this evening, but come on, Scotland, show us your beavers. <laughs> when I was... No, please. <laughs> when I was in Scotland, I didn't see a beaver the entire time I was there. That's why I emigrated. <laughs> It was a, a big weekend in the Animal Kingdom because that lizard movie, Rango, was number one at the box office. So Rango is a chameleon who gets stranded in a desert town and has to kick the bad guy's ass. I don't, don't know how he does it. It probably blends into the background. He's a chameleon. And he uses the element of surprise. The <laughs> same way I used to approach dating. <laughs> Chameleons aren't the only animals that can change their skin colour, of course. There's a handful of other animals that vary their skin pigment depending on the conditions. You get your fish can do it, octopuses can do it, uh, Snooky can do it. <laughs> lizards can be dangerous, so you remember a couple of years ago, Sharon Stone's husband got attacked by a lizard at the, at the LA Zoo. They went into the cage and the Komodo dragon almost ripped his foot off and the zookeepers blamed it on him. The zookeeper was like, that lizard thought your sock was a rat. <laughs> That's right. In LA, even the zookeepers talk like that. <laughs> I think there was trouble in the marriage beforehand because Sharon Stone made her husband wear his special rat-like socks. <laughs> Put your rat-like socks on, honey. All the kids are wearing them now. I mean, that's dangerous. It's like going diving where, with sharks wearing, you know, meat speedos or something like that. <laughs> yeah, meat speedos. I've got them. At least I didn't say beaver twice. <laughs> Even with the halo, it's still bad, Craig. <laughs> the chameleon in the Rango movie reminds me of that lizard that sells the car insurance. You know, the, uh, the gecko with the cockney accent. Do you want to save money on car insurance? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't anybody have a problem with this? <laughs> I lived in London, and I didn't see a single lizard the whole time I was there. Seeing a lizard in London is as rare as seeing a beaver in Scotland. That's how rare it is. No, don't. <laughs> the lizard's an enduring symbol. The Jim Morrison, the singer from Adores, used to call himself the Lizard King, but he stole that name. Do we have a picture of the real Lizard King? There he is. I... <laughs> Jim Morrison called himself a lizard king because he went to the desert and he took LSD and he saw a lizard. Which makes me think that his LSD was probably crap. 
because, no, there are lizards already in the desert. Like, seeing a lizard in the desert, it's not that big a deal. If you'd seen a dolphin, then you've got some good acid right there. Like, a dolphin? What I'm saying is, always know who your dealer is. CBS cares. Anyway, I'm talking about lizards. They use their tongues all the time. Very popular with the ladies. <laughs> Some lizards have got tongues longer than their entire body. If I had that, I wouldn't leave the house. <laughs> I'd probably have seen more beavers when I was in Scotland. Than that. <laughs> it's bad, Greg. <laughs> Some lizards can run so fast they can actually scamper across water on two feet. You ever seen that? They go right across like that. I do the same thing when I hear there's a sale at Forever 21. <laughs> Anyway, the movie Rango, the Rango movie, it's, a, it's an homage. This is what I wanted to talk about, actually. It's an homage to the spaghetti western genre. Now, you know, the westerns that they made in the 1960s, they, they made them in Italy, which I think is a little offensive, boiling an entire culture down to a crude stereotype. The Italians must hate it. They would be like, Craig, what's a common I go to say fruits? <laughs> Have some pasta and some organized crime. <laughs> But uh, Clint Eastwood was in a bunch of spaghetti westerns. It was during a difficult period in his career, you know, before he revived it with teaming up with the orangutan. <laughs> it was good, those movies, every which loose you can and everything. He, and he, but in the, the westerns, he wore a poncho, and he looked like a total badass. He's the only person that's ever, you know, looked like a badass wearing a poncho. When I wear one, it looks like Liza Minnelli's head is growing out of a carpet. <laughs> See, now, there's some good acid right there. <laughs> Commercial break time, Jeff. Commercials, lifeblood of late, late fun. <laughs> Sorry, I'm no Andy Richter. Hey, now, come on. That's not right. That's not right. No, I know Andy Richter, and you're right, sir. You are no Andy Richter. Yep. <laughs> Bulls. Well, I feel more comfortable now, don't you? Bulls. Yeah. Sex party. All right, we're going to have a three-minute sex party while you watch commercials. You win. <laughs> I went to take a drink and held up the, uh, I held up my mouth organ. I meant to hold up the hand and play the mouth organ and, and then have the drink later. Now my OCD's all out of whack. This show's gonna suck more than ever. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Man, I was right. <laughs> Feel the awkwardness descending. <laughs> it's almost as if the studio was packed with Canadians. <laughs> Wait. Canadians looking for fun. <laughs> All right, then. What time is it, Jeffrey P? The bird says tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> In your pants. In your pants. In, In your, your pants. pants. <laughs> Bull. Ah. Play the jingle. Hey, Jeff, you want to get tweeted with me tonight? Well, all right. Pedal to the pedal again there soon. Ready out of bed and gagging with a spoon. I need your love, I can't relax. Without your touch, I'm grown into the max. So you know. All right, this is from Jonah in Falls Church in uh, Virginia. It says, Dear Craig, my wife and I have three-month-old twins, and neither one of us has slept much very much since Christmas. I think I'm getting a little grumpy. How do you deal with getting very little sleep? I do have a very young child in the house as well. I, um, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm pretty tired, actually, right now. I mean, really, I, I am. It does make me a little bit grumpy when I'm tired. It does! <laughs> I try not to be grumpy. You can't really be grumpy. You got a kid now. You know the weird thing about babies is that you're like, oh, oh, shut up, shut up. And then they, they're quiet and you go, oh, aren't they lovely? <laughs> and then they start making a noise again. It's like, it's like they're playing you. <laughs> this is from Jackie in Columbus in Georgia who says, uh, Dear Craig, who's the funniest person you ever met? Hands down, Robin Williams. Oh, well, wait, no. Billy Connolly. Oh, no, wait. Um, Carl Reiner? No, um... Bob Saget? Bob Saget. <laughs> uh, this is from Eric in Santa Cruz in California. Well, we might as well do it, because, you know... All right. Uh, he says, uh, Dear Craig, uh, I just found out my blood type is AB negative, the rarest type. Ooh, look at you. <laughs> Should I feel obligated to donate now? Nah, keep it all to yourself. <laughs> I mean, the people that use it are just going to be injured. <laughs> CBS to... Cares. <laughs> they're going to be injured and needy, and they're going to need a blood transfusion, so they're... you'll probably be stronger than them. <laughs> of course you have to donate your blood, you idiot! I would donate blood, but I'm not allowed to. Do you know why? Because I had meat in my mouth in Britain in the 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, what? Oh, no. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. First guest tonight is uh, is um well uh, he's uh, it's a movie star. Bob Saget. No, it's not Bob Saget. Oh, I wish. No, it's not. <laughs> Even better than Bob Saget. I know, but it's true. He's in the movie Battle Los Angeles, which is in theaters this Friday. Take a look at this. Yeah, I'm seeing that. <laughs> I'm seeing it. It looks like the kind of sensitive psychodrama that I like. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Aaron Eckhart, everybody. Aaron Eckhart. I'm all right, I'm all right. You want to be careful around that skeleton, though. He's, you know, you can give yourself a shock. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Now get off. I had meat in my mouth in the 80s. Yeah, too, yeah did you really? Yeah. Yeah, you can't donate blood. You no, it's true. You can bovine spongy form and yeah. The mad cow disease. Yeah, yeah, the mad yeah. cow disease. Which did I you think... ever get it? No, I don't think so. Yeah. I think about, mm, I'm all right. Yeah. 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 I think I'm fine. Did you ever get it? No, I did, but I, I was eating at McDonald's or Burger King or one of those. I mean, I remember being right in the in the you know, ground zero of the, the mad cow disease. Oh, yeah. No, it was, uh, it was a, a terrible time. Yeah. And they really, gave, they really gave you no information about it, other than, you know, you're frothing at the... They showed some woman in Scotland when I was there frothing at the mouth. That may have just been... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, you know. I, I, <laughs> hey, I like the look of this movie very much. Uh, yeah. It's a shoot 'em up, kill aliens movie. Yeah, well, it's... Where, that's just the kind of thing that I like. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, it's aliens, nice. war movie, nice. men, women. And also, L.A. gets trashed. People yeah. love movies where L.A. gets trashed because yeah. everybody hates L.A. Even people who... The mayor of L.A. hates L.A. Yeah. Everybody. They have, it's it's live masochistic. It. Yeah, no, that's great. I remember when that movie Volcano came out and L.A. got covered in lava, and I saw it in L.A., and people in the theaters were cheering. <laughs> what was that movie called? Uh, Volcano. Volcano, yeah. 
You, you weren't in that movie, were you? You love movies, don't you? You love film. Yeah, well, I love two movies. That one that you did and Volcano. That's my two movies that I like. Good, uh, Are you a big movie buff? Do you, like, do you no, watch... No, I haven't seen a movie in three or four years. Holy yeah. crap, man. Why? Uh, well, I don't like to go under the, the parking structures, and then I don't like to wait in line, and then I don't really like to see the movie, and I don't like to... Uh, <laughs> after that, I don't like to have to go back in the parking structure and... So, uh, I can uh, see your problem, man. Yeah. <laughs> right there, because, well, you know, there is this idea, they've got this thing called um, television, and what you do is yeah. you get this big thing at home, and you can put in a DVD or a videotape, or right? you can download them straight from They're, they're trying or to give me a, a 3D television now. What are you drinking out of? <laughs> what, what exactly is that? It's a snake cup. It's, uh, it, what it is, Where's it's cause mine? I, well, I'm insecure about I my penis, so, I got this stupid so, cup. Um, I came on, I came on the late show and I got this cup. Yeah, well, well, you're much more secure about your penis than I am. I, <laughs> I, I, no, it's, uh, hey, hey. it's, uh, <laughs> no, it was given to me by, um, It's okay. Someone. <laughs> no, it's nice, it's, uh, no, I like cheers. it. Cheers. Cheers, uh, your good health. Oop. <laughs> I had a rattlesnake actually on my foot one time. I was doing a movie in New Mexico. I was running up a slope or something. I bent down to get some breath, and there was a rattlesnake coiling on my foot. What do you mean you bent down to get some breath? <laughs> well, how high was this hill you were running up? You had to, it was so high yet you went out of the Earth's atmosphere and you had to bend down to get breath? I'm beginning to see holes in your story. And, and also. The, the rattlesnake was on your foot while you were running? What, did it, no. did it jump on like a hobo jumping a train? <laughs> Are you being honest with me, Iron? I want to know. You know, I, I come on the show to promote my movie. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I want to, you know, look good. You do. You look great. Yeah. I mean, really, you do, honestly, you look yeah. fantastic. Let me work. tell the story. All right. The way I want to tell the story. <laughs> All right, tell the story then. The rattlesnake's I just foot. did. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's, ooh, that was a nail biter, wasn't it? <laughs> Are you frightened? Are you frightened of snakes? Um, you know, it's interesting. No. In yeah. fact, uh, um, I'm actually, it was, it's good luck if a snake is coiling on you. It's Native American. It's very good luck. It means you're going to have a long, prosperous life. It's unless, unless no joke. It bites you in your Unless it bites, yeah. Yeah. Unless you can't get to a, a but the immunity. Bite won't, won't, uh, oh, yeah, it would. Would it really? Oh, yeah, sure. sure. Do you, do well, I mean, it depends on the time, but it would also, it would, you know, you lose your nervous, you know, system in the hand or wherever the bite is. Yeah, but no, uh, were you wearing shoes when you were running up this hill? Yeah. Well, you would know, right then? Yeah, yeah. 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 Was it <laughs> sneakers? No. Crocs? Did you see the movie? <laughs> it was a movie I did called Volcano. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You run up the hill and there's yeah. rattlesnake bites you and you're woozy I mean, and then the lava's coming at you and you're like, was, oh. It was, like, then, it was yeah. like that. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it wasn't the biggest role, as I remember, <laughs> that you've done. You got what kind of movies somewhere. do you go and see? No, really, seriously, what do you like? Are you smelling your finger? <laughs> Smelled your finger right in front of me. You were like, no, I did. I, I, see, you, what you don't understand about reflexology or you right, know, right. your your chakra system and all right. that sort of stuff is that this is a very intuitive place on your body. Oh. It's directly uh, located to your your thalamus or your pyroid or the pylon in your head. Oh, the pylon. Yeah. Oh, right. So when you, know you do that, you're you're the creative center. Oh. Yeah, do well, this a I, lot. I you have a wrinkle that's right there. I do have wrinkle. I get more than one, man. If I start moving the wrinkles around, I'm going to be here all very night. good. You're, you're very... Now, you're a U.S. citizen. I know that because I went to the, um, uh, to the, um, correspondence dinner. When Wait, you had correspondence Yeah, dinner? yeah. Were you, you had that when I... Yeah, yeah, I was. Oh, you were man, you that were was funny. a long night. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I would never do that again. No. Luckily, they haven't asked me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to this movie, though. I, I had a friend in, in school. Mm -hmm. And literally, he was very smart. Yeah. He was great. And he would just sit there and, like, when he was studying, just go like this, you know. Mm. He would like that. Yeah. It's very interesting. I always often wondered about that. Yeah, yeah. well, what? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, we're out of time. Uh, you want an awkward pause or mouth organ? I'd like a mouth organ. Okay, please. mouth organ it is. Here you are, freshly packed. Just oh, I get to do it as well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm, I do it every night. I'm the, I'm the mouth organ slut. Well, wait, wait for me. <laughs>
Mine shouldn't be wrapped. If you if you can play it, you know, you win the golden mouth organ. Only ever won four times. <laughs> hey, you, get, you ain't getting a mouth organ. <laughs> Let me say, well, if you can play one tune, that's all I ask. One tune and you win the very expensive golden mouth organ. And then you get a shot at the big prize. <laughs> 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 This is my last film ever, so I'll never, you know. No, yeah. man, why? Yeah, You're retiring? retiring yeah. Like Phil Collins retired yeah. from music? Did you hear that? It's not bad, actually. Yeah, it's yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds like a, one of them little clown cars. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, you, we're gonna, we have to play ourselves out. I mean, no, you do something and I'll follow it. All right. Well, that's nothing like what I just played. You don't play well with others, do you? You like to have it all to yourself. Why am I even here? Because you told that great rattlesnake story. My next guest is a wonderful comedian. I love her. She's at the Keswick Theatre in Glenside, Pennsylvania on March the 11th. I've played there and it's a great theatre. Not when I'm in it. <laughs> but it is when she's in it. Please welcome the brilliant Paula Poundstone, everybody. Paula Poundstone. It is so nice to be here, but we don't have time to talk about that. The pressure on this show for time is unbelievable. <laughs> like, Aaron came off and I said, I didn't hear the snake story. Could you go back and tell it again? <laughs> and they're like, no, no, we can't. And they told me that I, ha I have, th they hoped that I would do three minutes and 45 seconds. <laughs> like, I have the slightest idea what three minutes and 45 seconds is. I have no idea. And now that I mentioned Aaron's snake story, that's, I've probably got three minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> I have no idea. You know, did you see the Academy Awards? Because they were very pushy with time there. <laughs> Nobody could thank any. Nobody could do anything. They were just like, take the thing. Get, here's your trophy. Get off. Get off. It was all. It was all about the time. It was very, a lot of pressure. And by the way, some of those people have had a little bit of work done. Did you notice that? <laughs> some of those people look like big birds flying into a really strong wind. <laughs> So we're trying, wait, you, normally we don't watch television at home, but I, except for this, but I, uh, uh, which we tape and then watch all day long over and over. It's a loop, we have it on a loop. Uh, you know, I noticed, by the way, somebody wrote and asked you, Craig, what were your favorite comic? Who was the best comic? And you listed three, and I'm assuming you were doing it alphabetically and you just didn't get to the P's yet. But, uh, what a statesman. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, all right, so anyway, so we're watching the Academy Awards, and my daughter, her phone rings. It go, she has a cell phone, you know, and it goes, -a -little 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 -little. and she picks it up and uh, does this into it, and then puts it down again. And I thought, well, great, it's over. Whatever it was, it's over. And then it goes, -a -little -little -little. and she did it again. And I realized, I never knew this, that's texting. I didn't know what texting was. She was texting. That's the stupidest thing I ever saw in my entire life. I mean, if phones hadn't been invented yet, I would say it's brilliant. <laughs> like in a phone it would be like bring bring hello click <laughs> bring bring good and you click <laughs> it's the stupidest thing I ever saw in my entire life but they were very pressured for time on that show just like comics never get any time we get like a couple of minutes and then off 
Now, I was, I was driving on a, a road the other day, and I went by one of those kind of men's nooner bars, the girls, girls, girls kind of places, and they had a sign up that said, Continuous Entertainment. Boy, I am not jealous of that, though. <laughs> How hard would that be? Just, you know, <laughs> My, this is so much easier. <laughs> you know what, I'll tell you something. I, I, uh, you know what I am jealous of is uh, Joan of Arc. <laughs> not, the, not, not the steak part, but she had a confessor. I love that. She, could call, she traveled with a confessor. She could wave the guy over, say what she needed to say, unburden herself, and then... <laughs> I would kill to have a confessor. <laughs> just somebody that during your day, you just go. <laughs> I ate Pop-Tarts in bed last night. <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you very, very much. Oh. 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 you are, of course. You continues entertainment, and you are, I have to say, I had not gotten to the peas yet. I'm yeah. so sorry, yeah. I, I meant, I was just... Uh, you weren't to the peas yet, yeah. and, and uh, apparently you're starting with the W's. Who did I start with? Robin Williams. Well, I started with, well, Robin's sensitive. He he's sensitive. He's very sensitive, if you don't and he's a brilliant, first, brilliant he, man. He'd be upset. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then, um, yeah. yeah. Who's the funniest person? He's dress probably on tomorrow night, too. <laughs> <laughs> Who is on tomorrow night? No, we don't really tell you something. plan that far in advance, really. I'll tell you something, not me after that kind of a slight. Why? I didn't, I didn't no, mean I'm it. kidding. I'm, no, I'm absolutely kidding. By the way, how many times have I invited you to ping pong parties now and you've blown me off? Well, Every I... single time. Okay, I'll come to the next one. When's the next one, then? Tomorrow night. <laughs> to to for Toe Grace. for Grace is on tomorrow yeah, he's night. He's great at ping pong. People, he's the ping pong champion of that show that he was on. Is that show? He's in movies. He's, yeah, that movie he was in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was in Volcano. He was the guy. He was playing yeah. ping pong in the yeah. lava. Yeah, yeah. It was going yeah. Snake was curled yeah, up on his that shoe was, with That was paddle. quite the story, Aaron. Told I was I on missed, the edge of my I, seat. I, Where I, are you? I missed the whole story. No, that was the whole story. No, I didn't hear. No, I t I, they put a mic on me, and then I came back, and the and the snake story was over. No, well, what happened? Well, let me just run it by you quickly again. <laughs> but I loved Aaron Eckert. Was so he's great. He was great, he's and he was nice. in he was in the dark night. The bat. He was the, the Batman he movie was the and uh, Two Face, and so I was so nervous to meet him tonight because no, no, I knew no, I was going to be staring at one part of his face. <laughs> Yeah, he no, was no, two Tommy Lee Jones was uh, two feet. Tommy Lee Jones <laughs> was in The Fugitive. Yeah. You don't, you don't just get one movie. You can be in more than one movie, unless you're me. But the, uh, one movie. No, he no, he was not in... Tommy Lee Jones was two-faced. He was like... Ah, 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 like that. Uh, Aaron no, played... Um, you did drugs with Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> Nobody does drugs with Tommy Lee Jones. He's too angry. He does them all himself, and he oh, doesn't does even he? let you come into the room. Yeah. yeah, okay, but that's when you saw the... Yeah, yeah. The thing is about Tommy Which, Lee Jones way, is... Try that to put the baby to sleep. I'll, at this point, I'll try anything. If it's got a shot, I'll do it. They love that. No, I don't know, man. I, I'm really running on empty right now, really, honestly. Because you, because you, have, a, you have a young child and then a baby. Yeah, yeah, well... The, I gotta uh, tell you something. Uh, you, what do you got to do? Three hours? Is that what I heard? You got three hours sleep last night? Yeah, yeah. You just wait. <laughs> you just what? wait. What? Yeah. I would kill to get three hours sleep. How many kids When you your got? kids get older, three hours sleep is a luxury. Why? Why? That doesn't make any sense at all. Didn't you just say, go to your room and now I'm going to take a nap and stuff? <laughs> why not? <laughs> I, who do I complain to about this? This it's, is not what I... This is, this is the opposite of what I had in mind. No. It's what? not like that at all. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Do you the, hate me no, so there's, much? There's homework. I know. I, I homework, can't remember yeah, if I told yeah. you guys this the last time I was here, but I'm going to tell you. I, I just it bears repeating. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you one of the best parenting tips you'll ever get in your entire life. What? Okay. In order to avoid the poster project. 
which your kid is bound to have. Been there already, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, this is how you avoid it. Go out, maybe in August, and buy a stack of poster. <laughs> put it visibly, show your kid. Poster, put it up in the closet. They will never have a poster project the entire, it's like a talisman. You can even kind of shake it around the house a little bit. Oh, they like sage never, or something like that? Right, they will never get a poster project. However, if you do not whoa, do whoa. that. Yeah. No, no, that's two things you did. First you did that one like that, and then you did that one like that. That's two acting things. Yeah. Were oh, you a, I'm a gifted, I was in Volcano. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I was part of the lava. <laughs> I was spewed out. Oh, come on. Did you really, wait, did you, okay, is it really a movie volcano? Yeah, yeah. And what happens is that Tommy Lee Jones, he's like, ah, ah, it's a volcano, it's a volcano. And somebody else is in it, who else is it? Andy Dick. And he's, uh, he's like, oh, volcano. Uh, and then, <laughs> that wasn't bad. I've never tried Andy no, Dick that before. Was, that was, was all right, actually. <laughs> Okay, frankly, a volcano. I gotta tell you, it has shades of many other characters that you do. Pretty much they're all the same. Yeah. You know, they kind of go all like that, except Andy Michael Caine. Because he doesn't, you know, I mean. No, he's not like that. No, who's he's Andy, more like that. Who's Andy Dick? Andy Dick? What's wrong with you? He's the one the kids go nuts for. Andy Dick? Andy Dick, they, you, that's through the kid, the comic, the kids are, I, I don't know. Go oh, normal. <laughs> Don't know. So no, no, he's you... on your list before me also. No, no, Paula. You Probably are the funniest person I've ever met. Thank you very much. With a P. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have to take Andy. a break. We, uh, what do you mean we have to take well, a break? We, it's, you know, it's just one of these things we do in television. Like every now and again, we show commercials for something so that somebody can get paid. Obviously not me, but somebody. Somebody's yeah. Andy Dick. Well, do you want... Does Andy Dick get paid for this? You show? get every single time you go to a commercial. This is the sort of like Zuzu's pedals and the angel's wings. Every time. See, now that's three. You did that choice like that. And you did that one like that. And then you did that one. Do you know like what that. you know what I'm referring to when no. I say those things? No, but I'm trying to look smarter than I am. Okay. By the way, you used the word homage before. In the earlier part of the show, when you Is were that? talking about the, the movie, the Johnny Depp animated film, yeah. you used the word homage. Did I use the word homage? Yeah, he did, didn't he? He said homage. Yeah, well, I, I meant to say homage. <laughs> That's more like oh, it. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what the hell happened. Yeah, I, I still, there's still bits of Europe floating around I me, you know? It's very impressive. Thank you you kind of keep us Americans on our toes a little bit. Hey, I'm an American too. Got my tattoo. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we'll take a break. And There's then a place in Beverly Hills called Dr. Tat Off, and they can get that right. I don't want it off. I don't want my tats off. Tats off. <laughs> you keep your yeah, tats off. Yeah, see, and there's another one. There's another one. <laughs> now you're doing that one, and you've done that one, and you've done that yeah. one. Keep your tats on. Keep... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're, look, I'm going to play some commercials. Just stay there. We'll be right okay. back, everybody. Look, we'll be right back. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? The people who had the show before, was that the alien cat? No. Uh, uh, welcome back, everybody. Um... So I just was told that uh, Aaron Eckhart was Two-Face. I knew that. I feel such a fool. I know. It could have happened to anybody. <laughs> no, it could only happen to people that were foolish enough not to know. Are you sure that he was in Volcano? <laughs> what I'm not that... sure that he wasn't. I, uh, I, I think, I no, he wasn't. Definitely not. No. Tommy Lee Jones in that one. In, yeah. Didn't Tommy Lee Jones... You have, like, a thing for Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah earlier he said he was an Annie. I don't think I, he's I, in... I never said he was an Annie, didn't he? But he did play Daddy Warbuck. <laughs> he did. And Danny, he did a two-faced thing in that. <laughs> the sun will be out tomorrow night. Out. <sighs> We're out of time, you know. Oh, jeez. I mean, the whole show is out of time. Yeah. Well, that's how it is. That's a get your award and get a... Say hi to Craig and get off. That's, no, that's you've exactly taken up what... almost half the show. Yeah, but you know what? Did I take up almost half the show? Almost half the show. Yeah. It, you, it, the show is mostly you and Aaron's uh, rattlesnake story. <laughs> Which I never heard. Bring him back on to finish telling the rattlesnakes. What did he say happened? R rattlesnake was on his foot and that was it. <laughs> 
You look, you know. Boy, they put that microphone on me fast. <laughs> the thing is, I think when you look like Aaron, who gives a rat's ass if you got a good stuff? Right? You know, pretty guy. handsome dude. He's, you know. handsome he's dude. very handsome. Very handsome. Very handsome. Yeah, I, yeah. I would have to agree there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> even, even when he was Two-Face, which was supposed to be a scary character, even when he played, he had like part of his face eaten away. The other part of his Zion's face was, 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 was <laughs> All right, we're out of time. Say good night. Good night, Paul. Good night. Yes, good night. Thank you so much.